guys to check it out. A package came yesterday. Let's take a deeper look into the box. Looking at these uh, instructions. These are Halo fog lights for the Mustang. So let's have a look at these. So yeah, let's take a second there. Let's take a little deeper look at these. And turn the TV down. Right, so let's see how this thing is wired up. <clears throat> All right, so we got, we got our bulb here. Okay, standard light. I'm trying not to touch that. So that's, that's pretty much just like the OEM. Now, let's go back to the front. See, we got the main light bulb there. Then we got this halo around the edge. So that should look pretty dope. Can't wait to see how this look on the car. Now you got your wiring here. You got these. Okay. And then, okay, so these lights, right? These wires right here. This is how the halo uh, lights up. And those are the wires. They run to the actual halo. If you look at this, they run here. And that's the, um, that's basically the wire set up for the halo. And these instructions, these instructions. I looked at these before, and from what I can tell, these are not the instructions for these halo lights. <laughs> it says, connect the wire harness for LED tail lights. These are not LED tail lights. And you flip it over, general LED tail lights. So, yeah, this is like, of course, that's like a pickup truck. <laughs> those tail lights are for a pickup truck and you see you got a bed there and of course if you've changed the tail light on a pickup truck before you're familiar with this unscrewing the side from opening the tailgate right there yeah. so these instructions let's see what we got here headlight and tail light condensation So yeah, definitely not the product that I have purchased. It's pretty useless. <laughs> so yeah, these instructions are definitely not for the product that I have purchased. So they're basically useless. But I think we'll figure it out. What I'm thinking here is that these lights that run to the halo, I should be able to basically run them somehow probably splice them in and uh, basically just power them off of the main bulbs uh, I am by no way an electrician uh, I know a few so maybe I'll consult one of them um, but yeah if it gets to the point where I don't feel I got it hooked up pretty you know hooked up as it should be then yeah, I'll end up doing that. But you know, I can do some basic stuff. You know, I how to run. I know how to run wires together. I know how to, you know, the positive and the negative and everything. I did the uh, headlights on my um, on my dually with a little uh, with a little LED line in the middle, uh, whatever it's called. Somebody tell them if you know exactly what they call. But yeah. I did that, so I think I'll be able to handle it. But if not, I have electricians that I can consult that'll uh, guide me along the way. But yeah, let's go. Alright, so I've taken these fog lights loose before. Notice how this little piece and that metal piece just comes 
Oh yeah, there is a crack there too. Yeah, they're so white and cloudy. It's time for these to be replaced anyway. But that little metal piece actually was originally around the bulb. Um, I guess because those bulbs are not stock. They probably, um, my guess is that they burn a little hotter so it kind of melts the adhesive so they fail. So I've changed these before. It happened, these are not the original fog lights that came, we were in the car when I bought it. Uh, I've replaced them and the same thing happened when I put aftermarket bulbs in there. So yeah, we're gonna just get rid of that and upgrade. Uh, it's pretty simple. This cover, you got these uh, plastic push pins here, here, here. Uh, then on this side here and here, there's one there, but it's missing. Uh, so this comes right up and then the honeycomb section of the grill let's see you got oh yeah you got little tabs here I think there's a couple of those under here uh, but really you just once you get this up and out of the way just pull the honeycomb section of the grill out and then that's how you gain access to the fog lights so let's go ahead and jump on that so, let's go ahead and start with these plastic pieces. Grab my stubby, pop those loose. Yeah, just pop, once you pop those loose, just lift up on it. Careful not to pop it out of place and then you also you kind of see that the honeycomb grill is like over top just so you gotta slide it out from under there so lift up here hold on to them so they don't pop out and go flying all over the place uh, this one slide it right on out of there like that and that will reveal this section here so basically I'm trying to remember did I need to I think I will yeah so I'll need to use this this is a 10 millimeter Pull that loose. You can tell I've taken these loose before. Because I can't tighten them up a lot. So lift that, lift that right off of there. This one does the same thing. And boom. So we got access, y'all. Now these. Ah, these are star points. I forgot about that. Or hex heads, actually. Let's see. What size do we need here? Oh, well, it's not the perfect fit, but it is moving, so we're going to have to go with this. So that's easy. Alright, so take this, the plug that's already there, and I unplug this one that comes with this. So just as a test, plug that in. Hope this comes out on camera. Hit the uh, switch. I lock the doors and boom, there we go. So they work. Alright. So now let's do this. These wires that actually power the halo. Let's stick that in there. This side is ground. And this side is the hot. This might not come out. Let's see if I can show it. I don't know if the camera's 
picking that up. But the halo works too. Alright. Now, the thing about this is these are regular bulbs, so I probably will reuse my other bulbs because they shine blue and not just like a factory plain white. Um, but yeah, I got to figure out, you know, see, I might have to go to a hardware store if there are any open. I don't know what's going on right now in the world. Everything's closed. But go to the hardware store and get the female in that matches up with these and then maybe just um, take this. I really don't want to cut this. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to splice it in somehow. I don't know. I don't want to cut this. Or maybe there's some type of adapter that I can find. Hopefully. But yeah, that's how it's going to have to work. And then, then, of course, also have to find, you know, of course, this would be for the main light and the main light bulb. And then this would be for the halo. So if I could find some way to wire that in there together, then that would be how we have to do this. And then it'll come on whenever the fall lights come on. That's what it's looking like. That's our task in front of us. So let's see how to figure that out. So I'm looking at these lights. Uh, so I went to the store and got some electrical components because if you look at these wires, let's see if I can get y'all a shot of this. Let's put it on the floor. You have the bulb, the wires for the bulb which are on have these connections and then you have the wires for the halo which is here and they're actually just kind of left for you to figure out how to wire those up so I bought some connectors from Walmart and some wire good thing is though the idea I have I probably won't need these. I probably will be able to just, I might have to use, I don't know, I might have to use that, but hopefully I can just use these, a couple of these splice connectors and just wire these little smaller wires, just wire them straight into the connection for the main bulb wire so that's what I got that's the idea I have in my head I'll see how this works out I see the stock assembly has a wire that runs straight to the bulb so it's this type this harness is already on the car so the way this is set up they expect me to cut the stock harness which I don't really want to do uh, but there's always a way to preserve it just leave plenty of wire but yeah evidently this probably so I'll again I'll try to wire the small wires into this into these bulb harness wires and then figure out how I'm going to connect because what, what I may end up doing is I have some um, I have the female ends for these connectors over there and the stuff I bought from Walmart and I might just end up putting those on the end of the wires that are already on the car although I really can't stand the idea of cutting the, that harness off of the car that's already there but looks like that's what I end up having to do and at the end of the day you can always restore it wire it back up but yeah
All right, so I'm about to run my little test here. You can see how I got the splice connectors hooked up. I got the little wire spliced into the big wire. And so now that they're spliced into each other, all we have to do now to see if it works right, just touch our uh, ends onto the battery terminal to get power. And hey, there you go. We got the main bulb is on and the halo is on. That's um, going in and out because I'm touching and taking it off. Touch it again, take it off. But yeah, it works, y'all. So basically, all we got to do is get the other end for the factory lights, get that done. But this works, so we're good to go on that. All right, so I'm stuck with using these blue quick connects because this package only came with six of the red splice connectors and I need eight. So I'm just gonna have to either buy a new pack or make do with these blue quick connects. But so I'm gonna take this wire, I bought the wire, and to avoid having to cut the uh, what's the word I'm looking for the harness piece off of the end of the wires on the car I'm gonna actually just splice some wire into it that way you can always just reverse it and you know what I guess technically you reverse it but it would be an easier reverse job to if you just splice another wire in so I'm gonna take these I'm gonna use these strippers over here wire strippers and we're going to um, make a little connection to splice in and we're going to take these uh, male and female uh, snap connectors we're going to put them on one end actually all we're going to need is the female end actually because the light assembly over this side has the male end. So yeah, we'll only need the female end of those. We're gonna put that on here, on these wires, and then we're gonna splice the other end into the wire that's already in the car. So yeah, that's what's about to happen. All right, so I got my connections together on this end. I haven't crimped those tight, of course, because I still have to attach those to the uh, wire in the car but I put these snap connectors I got the female end of those on this end of the wire and these ends right here will be spliced into the wire in the car and hopefully that should get everything working right alright so I took the plastic cover off that comes off pretty easy you, know, you got those little push connectors there just pop those loose and then you got these right here these uh, 10 millimeter bolts you pull those loose and then you can just pull this back and it gives you easier access to this whole grill assembly which basically gives you reach to the fog light and you can see the plug the harness the connection there so we go ahead and pull these back and then go ahead and reach down in there and try to make our wire connections all right so this is the harness wire that runs from the car to the bulb of the fog light we got our multicolor wire here, which should be hot, and our black wire, which should be ground. So, we we'll go ahead and take this, see if we can splice it on in there. Alright, so I have 
all my splice is done everything is connected uh, so let's plug uh, plug the harness back into here and then I've also you can see so I plug I plug that back in make sure that's still working and I, you see I also have these plugged in to the new light assembly so let's go ahead and hit the button on the key fob to see if it works oh yes it does now that's a regular bulb this is you can't really tell in the uh, from this video from this footage or on camera I guess but that light is bluer so I'll be using that bulb to replace this one in here but as you can see the bulb and the halos work so only thing left now is just replacing this light this fog light assembly with that one and our installation will be complete alright now I just want to point out these screws that hold these fog light assemblies in place these are I guess you could call those star points yeah those are stars although I didn't have the right size star so I was able to get at it it's harder it's a little more tedious but I was able to get it with a 332nd uh, Allen so yeah but use a star point if you got it it's easier well depending on the space you're working with too this Allen might be the easiest if you ideally have a star point that you can put on a socket that would be the way to go let's see I took the uh, harness here the original harness and I put electrical tape over it just so you know we don't want any moisture getting in there if we can help it and I also took the connections that I made and I put electrical tape over those as well and I'll probably I don't know got some excess wire here I'll probably tuck this to a spot where it's not just wire hanging loose everywhere kind of neaten that up a little bit all right, so before I complete the installation here, I want to get a comparison. Now the driver side over here to the right of the frame has the new fog light already installed. And here on the left of the flame, frame or the passenger side, we still got the old fog light. Yeah. And you see I got the new one hooked up over there too. But yeah, it's a pretty nice difference. So it's actually pretty decent that the sun went down on my work. Yeah. I don't know, you can't really get that good of a look at it. Oh, here we go, this looks better. Yeah. That looks nice. I like that. Oh yeah, she look good. So yeah, that concludes the nice work. And we're going to catch y'all on another episode. Yeah, my neighbor Tyler. <laughs>